but you can't park there. Weeks ahead of the new NFL season, people in Arlington are learning it isn't just fans who will have to go hunting for parking spots on game days. Jason Allen is live in Arlington to explain tonight. Jason? Well, street parking is pretty common in most neighbor neighborhoods, but because of where these streets are, just down from the stadium, the city of Arlington is telling people this year that on some game days, they'll have to put their car somewhere else. This car is parked on the street because the historic home where the owner lives doesn't have a driveway. And in this Arlington neighborhood, you'll find other apartments and small homes where street parking is the only option. But during big games and special events at nearby AT&T Stadium, it won't be an option anymore. It's we're towing your cars if you're parked here at the times that you're not supposed to be. Lisa Perkins and others in this neighborhood learned the new rule would affect them after the police department passed out door hangers about a community meeting. Whenever police decide an event is big enough, signs will go up declaring an entertainment no parking zone. Cars have to be off the street, whether it's Sunday or maybe even Thanksgiving Day. We have family and friends over. Yeah, yeah. If so, there's a special event. No, no, no. no. I couldn't have Thanksgiving on special event days. No. no. Passed in February, the new rule is intended to reduce congestion in neighborhoods. The ordinance does say it can be modified to, quote, address the parking needs of residents within the zone. But the police department couldn't answer questions Thursday about the rule or what residents will have to do when the city starts enforcing it. One of the recommendations was that um, the people that have to park on the street would have to find another place to park but and perhaps uh, Uber home or <laughs> take a cab. <laughs> Back home until the event was over. I talked with the city councilwoman for this district today. She's aware of this issue coming up and said she'd come over here and see just how many people this might affect on a game day. She expects that this is going to roll out slowly in the preseason and that that should allow the city to kind of see where and when some of those issues might pop up. Live tonight in Arlington, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. Thank you, Jason. A meeting is underway right now to discuss concerns over driverless cars.